Happy New Year and welcome to 2022. What a blessing being able to come into 2022. It is also a tremendous blessing to have had you ride out with me on this 2021 YouTube journey. I am so thankful and there are no words to express to you how humble and grateful I am for your support. So for this 2022, I want to wish you good health, happiness, and peace. Let's jump into what I have for you for my upcoming home projects for 2022. Hello, we are here in 2022 and I am so excited to be back with you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We got a lot to cover guys in this video but I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because I want to share um, some things with y'all. I want to share with y'all my home projects that are upcoming for 2022 and um, hopefully I'll be able to make it through the list but I can't guarantee because it depends on how that money be flowing in so um, but we'll see. Yes, I want to talk about what my projects are for 2022. I want to talk to you guys about what my style is or what my style is going to be, what it's evolving, what it's evolving into. So, yeah, I want to discuss that. And I also want to discuss with y'all what the professionals are saying about 2022 home trends. Not what I'm saying, but what these professionals are trying to tell us what is going to be trendy for 2022. So y'all, let's go ahead and get into this video because I also want you guys to stick around because almost to the end, I have a small haul that I want to share with y'all. Some items that I picked up from the at-home store and this is my first haul for the year 2022. So be sure to stick around. Um, what else I got for y'all? Yeah, I, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get this video started. I want to first talk about what my style is evolving into and this is what I like now guys I am so into cozy and casual decor I love earthy and organic and natural pieces so um I pretty much think that's what my style is but I don't want it to just be all of just that because that can sometimes tend to look a little uh, farmhouse farmhouse ish so I don't want to be too on the farmhouse side of uh, what my style is so I like to add in a bit of luxury by adding in some of those gold tones I like to add in um, a little mirror and a little glass here and there and I like uh, just a tad bit of glam I'm not really fond on a lot of glam too much glam to me makes the space feel too sterile and too um uncozy so that's just for me i like just a tad bit of glam i don't want my glam in my space saying hello 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 hey 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 no i don't want my glam doing that i don't want my i want my glam to be like a lady i want my glam to be sitting over in the corner looking sitting on that shelf and saying that's how I want my glam to be. I want my glam to be very subtle and I want it to kind of just um, ease its way into the decor without being so much of it, if you guys know, if that makes any sense, if you guys know what I mean. So yes, that is my style. Let's go ahead and talk about what the professionals are saying. Not what I'm saying, but what these professionals are out here telling us what is going to be trendy for 2022 to interior styling and the first on the list well this is the first thing that I saw when I start researching and googling and doing all of that was casual cozy that's right up my alley I'm gonna be trendy y'all yes trendy for 2022 not because I'm trying to jump on the bandwagon with being trendy but because that's what I like so yes the professionals are saying what's gonna be trendy for 2022 is casual and cozy and so I want to share with you some clips of what this cozy and casual style is looking like. And I am just 
totally in love with this style. Also, on the trendy list for 2022 is the color green, y'all. The color green. So, I don't know if it's all different shades of green, but the greens that I was looking at was more like a haunter green. So, um, yeah, they're saying that greens are going to be trendy for 2022. One other thing that um, I want to um, mention is that they also said that outdoor living spaces that are decorated like indoor spaces is going to be very trendy as well. So I did want to throw that in there. And so here I want to share with you some clips of some beautifully styled outdoor living spaces. And let's see what else they were talking about. Oh, and warmth. Warmth is also going to be another trendy style, making your home feel warm. And they say to do that, you will need to add in some brown and gold tones. So, yeah, that's what they're saying. Y'all, look at this. Isn't this just so luxury, but yet simplistic with the browns and the golds? I love it. Okay, so let's move right along. I am, um, let's see what else I want to tell y'all about before I get into this video of showing you guys around my house and the areas that I am going to be changing are doing a little upgrade on to make them more of my new style that I'm evolving into. So I told you already that we've already started on this backyard patio and y'all, do y'all see that tiki hut? Yes, y'all. I had a company come out and build a tiki hut in my backyard. Y'all, listen, I am making this a very tropical uh, paradise back here. So I'm excited to show you guys what this is going to look like when we're all done. I got some new furniture and so I'm ready. And so let's move right into this living room, y'all. See that wall? I want to make it a focal point. Right now, you're looking at some decorative molding. And that is what I'm looking to add on that wall. I do want to add some decorative molding to this wall right here. Um, make it more of a focal point. I'm not sure what style of decorative molding I'll be using. But um, it's going to be something. I am definitely going to um, spice this wall up. So, um, if you guys have any ideas or any um, um, ideas you want to share with me, please leave it in the comment section below. And here's the entryway. That is that mirror table. I'm looking to change it out into something like this. So, I do want to go again with more natural organic pieces or either something like this. I'm just not sure yet, but I am going to be changing out that entryway table. And so, y'all, we're going to move on into this dining room area. Yes, I never thought I wanted to get rid of my dining room table, but I am ready to part ways with it. Um, yes, that is the base of it. I painted that. It doesn't appear to be champagne gold on, um, I guess, the, on film, but it is actually a champagne gold color. And this is what I am looking into. I love the solid wood on the top and I love the pedestal base. So yes, guys, this is that dining room table that I am hoping to switch out this year. And also um, the chairs as well. These are the head chairs. They are um, uh, very traditional and they uh, came with the base of the table and so yes I want to switch those out too these are the side chairs these did not come with the with the table set I bought those from I believe it was Wayfair but anyway yes and moving into uh, this den area I am wanting to switch this base up completely I want to make it more cozier and more casual I want it to flow with the rest of the house so I am ready to um, get rid of the reclining leather uh, seating and I want to bring in something more cozier such as this I am looking to bring in some type of sectional with oversized or deep seating 
uh, maybe in, in a cloth material. And here's another look at something similar to that. And also here is another clip. But this is what I am looking to bring into my den area. So yes, bye bye to the black and bye bye to the leather and bye bye to the recliners. Yeah, y'all, y'all looking at all this bill bill air. Yes, this was our champagne for New Year, and my husband tend to always overdo it. I think he was um wanted to celebrate with the world with all of that bill air. But anyway, yes. This is the den, and I am hoping to do some changes in here. Moving into this sunroom. I hardly ever show this sunroom on any of the videos. But yes, those two green chairs, they got to go. And that is what I'm looking to put there. Those uh, chair, the chair that you just saw up at, top, at the top. But yes, I need a change in here. Like I said before, I want to make my entire house a very, very cohesive flow going from one room to the other I don't need everything to be identical but I do want things to flow together and so yes I'm going to be changing out some furniture pieces in this room I am going to make sure that I remove all of the screen and this burnt orange because I am really sick of looking at it and I want to make it a little more neutral and a little more, um, you know, cozier back here as well. And this room, it just sits right between the kitchen and the outdoor patio. So, yes, if you're in the kitchen, it overlooks um, down into this room. And then this room will take you also out to the back patio. So, yes, looking to do changes in here as well. And also, all of my door hardware i am switching all of that out this year as well i have these gold knobs on some doors and other doors i have other hardware so i want to make it all the same and here's my guest bath uh i did a video on this already a few months ago i was supposed to start some changes in here and that got delayed but I'm going to get around to it this year. I need to definitely do something with the cabinetry here. I don't want to replace this entire cabinet set or the countertop. So most likely I'll be doing some painting and I'll just be doing some redecorating, changing out the, de the decor pieces and adding in a more up-to-date style. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in here. And as you can see, yes, that cabinet definitely needs a little love. So yes, and I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about this camera that my hubby bought me for Christmas. It is a Sony digital camera ZV-1. It is definitely a content creator's camera. It is good for vlogging. I am absolutely already in love with it. It's very easy to use. Um, I read tons of reviews. I've watched tons of videos on how to operate it, and it has definitely made it very easy for me to operate um, by watching those videos um, the reviews for this camera is awesome 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 yes I am loving it I am going to be using this going forward for most of my videos and it also came with this little furry little creature here that is a mic filter and as you can see here on the top of the camera that is the mic that slides right over the mic and it helps to filter out um, background noise and sounds when you are filming. But I absolutely love this little compact camera. And also it came with uh, the, the tripod. It can be used as a handheld, um, what do you call it? It can be used, um, you can attach the camera to the top. And if you're vlogging, you can hold that in your hand to make for easier vlogging and it also can be used as a tripod so yes i am absolutely loving this entire setup and the tripod just screws right into the bottom of the camera i also like this tripod because it can sync with the camera it is um goes with uh by bluetooth and you can actually operate the camera with the handheld
And then here I have the adjustable floor tripod and the camera um, sits right on the top of that. And this tripod also came with some other attachments. It came with an attachment for your phone as well. So you can use your uh, phone on top of this tripod too. And so here is um, the camera attached to the tripod and it's very sturdy. This is just a typical, a typical floor tripod. Um, there's nothing too fancy about this tripod. So. y'all hey these are some things that I picked up from the at-home store and I want to um, just show you guys these items briefly these are some new items that I'll probably be using in the living room area but I also picked up some items that I'm going to be using on the backyard patio because you guys did see the clip of the backyard and the patio that we are currently redoing so this here is a gold wire basket with uh, this knitting design um, trimmed around on the top of it. I thought this was really unique and really, really pretty. I picked this up and I absolutely love this basket. And this was $24.99. Picked up this beautiful white simple vase our vessel but I thought it was really really nice because it's just so so plain and I actually like the shape of it the shape is really nice I really like this vase very nice clean look um, a bit of luxury here but uh, very simple I love this vase and this vase was 34 Ooh, I cannot see it $34.99. So this was a beautiful, simple vase. Also picked up two bundles of pompous grass, and each one was $14.99. And this is like in a tan, a tan or light beige or brown color. The small one is $9.99 and the larger one was $12.99. And it has like a hammered design on it, so this is really pretty. I love the, the hammered look on it. And these beautiful, unique roses. These are absolutely gorgeous, guys. I think this is like a ceramic or either a hard plastic finish, but this is so pretty, so unique. I love that it has the gold metal uh, leaves and stem, and then it sits on this little uh, pedestal. So this is a very nice and unique piece as well, and I picked up two of these, but I think these are really cute. And these were $17.99 each. So this is nice. I like this. I picked these candle holders or bases up for the backyard. But this is a stone base and a gray washed fin finish. Really nice. Um, the, the top of it is detachable and it is just a glass canister. And the bottom of it is closed. Typically when you have a candle holder like this, the bottom of the glass is open. 
but I like the fact that it is closed and you can use it separately. So you don't have to use it together. You can use this uh, glass by itself or you can even use the uh, this stone piece alone by itself as well. And I picked up two of these. They were $17.99. pot for the backyard this one was $19.99 I love the details on this this is also in a gray stone finish but it's really nice I love this very pretty and here are my favorites I love these wooden block candle holders they are super nice. They are in a wood finish. It has like a washed wood finish on it. It is in a dark brown with some light brown ombre um, effect to it. It's really nice. The top piece is glass, a very thin piece of glass um, with a metal base. But these are really cute and I got two of them, a larger one and then a smaller one. The smaller one, $17.99, and the larger one is $24.99. So really pretty. Hi, Brandon. Uh, you back already? Yeah. Um, you had some chores you didn't get done before you left. Your dad said you're supposed to wash the car. You never took the stones out the car. Um, and guys, this is um, a, a rug. Those are mine. All of them? Yep. All four? Yes. Any one? No. Can I get one? No. Why? This is a mat that I got for the back yard patio, the um, porch. And no, 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 put my stuff right, back. Open right, it, open it. Don't eat, neither one of y'all, but I eat one. And then I have this mat. No, I don't care. Leave it alone. Are you serious? Yes. And then I have this one, which is $14.99. And this one was $9.99. Oh my gosh, these kids! I forgot what I was doing. Y'all leave me alone, please. I have this mat. Let me hurry up and finish. Because they're getting on my nerves! This mat is a rubber door mat. This is for the backyard patio too. This is $19.99. And I'm going to get off y'all. Cause I'm finna do some damage control around here. <laughs> oh, I got these guys. I got these um, uh, kitchen hand towels, seven ninety nine. Let me go, y'all. Children be tripping. Children be tripping. Happy New Year, y'all. Let me go get my chocolate. And as always, stay well, be blessed, and I love you. Bye-bye.